Hi! In the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at some what's new highlights in this UFT1 release. Let's start with web testing news. You can now record and spy on web pages in IE mode on Chromium Edge. This is in addition to running tests in IE mode. You can now test SAP web-based applications on a Firefox browser. Get new versions of the CI-CD integration plugins available for Azure DevOps, Jenkins, and Bamboo. In Azure DevOps, when running UFT1 tests from ALM Lab Management, you can now do the following. Run build verification suites in addition to test sets. Connect to an ALM server that requires SSO authentication. And run tests on hosts set up with the AutoMatch option. In Jenkins, pipeline jobs can run local tests and publish results. You can define ALM credentials globally or within a job. You can provide parameter values in a build step without preparing a batch file. And more. Next up, the PDF add-in now provides full PDF testing support. You can open multiple documents at the same time, customize record and run settings, Use the new PDF text object to run steps on text. And you can even check images on PDF page objects. AI-based testing continues to improve. New AI models offer better accuracy and performance. Several new test object methods are available. and additional settings can be checked and modified during a test run. When setting up the connection to the remote AI service, you can now specify proxy details and test your connection settings. Last but not least, the UIA Pro add-in. Introduced as a technical preview in UFT1 2021, UIA Pro is an improved UI automation add-in used to test Windows-based applications that implement UI automation provider interfaces. In this version, we've added more methods for handling text. This UFT1 release supports new versions of Chrome, Chromium Edge, and Firefox, new Autopass license server versions, and Windows 11. It also adds support for over 20 new technology versions, including Angular, DevExpress, Java, Oracle, SAP, and many more. For more new features, check out the UFT1 Help Center. Enjoy the new UFT1 release.